welcome to Pixel Learning Resources. In this session, we'll be covering Spark pair RDD functions, fold and fold by key functions. Uh, that is this part, and uh, we have already covered reduce by key, group by key, and we'll cover in a few sessions this all remaining functions. So let's go to the fold by key directly from here. So uh, I would suggest please uh, visit the previous session as well, so it would be easier because we have already discussed many concepts. So repeating the same concept in different video would be like uh, make video longer. So we will try to avoid to do this thing. So let's uh, first start with the fold functions. Okay, so it's very simple way. I would like to sh show you what fold by fold functions in this part exactly does. Okay, so let's say I have two, three, four, and five values. I would say fold this all value using operation this summation what it does but it requires initial value as well zero okay so so the value always you take as an initial value which won't impact by uh, if you do the same things again and again won't impact the final result so i would say i wanted to fold this value using this operations so an initial value would be this so what i'll say is zero one 2, 3, 4 and 5 is my value, what I would say fold this value, ok so take this value, fold it with this value and generate the result, what is 1, now take this result out of this, fold this with this value and what is the value would be 3, what again fold this value using this operation with this value what would be the result 6 again what is the my operation this operation 6 fold this value with this value four. what would be the result 10 now fold this value 10 with this value and this value equal to 50 so this way we are folding the value so let's go to the example which i have taken in the pdf what we say sc dot parallelize 1 to 10 value so we have taken range from 1 to 10 fold is a function it requires initial value 0 from where it is starting not only starting perspective even this operation i have shown you sequentially but it happens parallelly like first fold is done up to this value and second node working on this node value but zero is the initial value in both the case so it won't affect correct uh, okay so let me show you uh, what i mean here one and two working on this node three four and five is on this node correct so zero initial value here as well zero initial value here as well one two different node. and then fold the values with this value and generate the result one again fold this value with two stage three result similarly here three and zero would be folded here and the result would be generated three three plus four would be seven and seven plus five equals to twelve now result would go here like this zero three and twelve and then again fold operation is applied on this and generate three and 3 plus 12 equal to 15 so that's the reason i use 0 multiple times but it won't affect my entire operations so that is we we always choose the initial value which won't affect my operations final result okay so we say this is the accumulator comma element we will pass it to this functions and this two value we are passing it zero is the initial value it requires uh, again like uh, some kind of reducer functions we will fold this accumulator plus element so here this uh, okay so this is the uh, sorry one two three four and five zero is initial value so this would go in accumulator initially so this accumulator plus this element will generate another accumulator that is one this accumulator plus this element value become 3 so this is again generated as an accumulator this accumulator plus this element value generated as a 6 so this is the accumulator which keep accumulating the your final result 
and this element would be added in this accumulator. So here you can see 0, 1, 0 plus 1 equals to final result 1. Then this 1 become the accumulator here. This 1 comma element 2, 1 plus 2 equals to 3. So this is the kind of sequential operation arsenal but this being done in parallel. So this way fold function work. So same thing applies when you uh, fold by key you do this correct. So uh, let's say here is a count the element in the list 1 to 10 if I have okay it's still fold function not a fold by key. I start with a 0 and equator dot element what we say we are not using the value of the element now what we are saying accumulator plus one always so 10 is the iterations correct so my next iteration if you see we have 10 elements so initial value would be zero and next i list my list contains one to ten value correct so first iteration zero plus one what is the result one next iteration this one plus again 1 here, right? you can see here 1, not element value, so 2, again next iteration 2 plus 1, constant value we are adding 3, so that is the you can see here, this is the final result would be the my total count 10, here is the result, so that way the fold function works, okay, so it's very similarly fold by key function works, because so this entire fold logic is applied for each individual key, correct? Uh, let me give you example here. I would say my key is K1, value is 1 to 10. Here K2 key is value 1 to 5. K3 key is value 1 to 7 something, okay? So now if I apply the fold function, fold by key, same functions with I would say it requires a dummy value okay fold by key has a little different signature but let's assume it uh, my key also we require a uh, dummy key and a value as a zero because we are going to do the summation ignore this part right now and we say apply the function is a summation only okay on each value what is the syntax we will take care about this so what it works for each key it works so for k1 key is again do the all the fold which we have done previously so what would be the result 555 that is the summation of all 1 to 10 value here the result would be 15 summation of all 1 to 5 value because it is for so result would be k1 comma 55 here here k2 comma 15 is the value here k3 comma uh, we will say 15 plus uh, 28 okay so this is the my final result so this is for each key the fold operation would be applied so that is the entire all the pair functions like this only the operation which you are going to apply which applies for each individual key so here is an example here like we wanted to find the maximum value in my rdd okay so what we have done is the accumulator dot element if my accumulator to second value okay this is the second value first value is a key correct and uh, mm, sorry uh, yes because this is the tuple first value would be the key and the second value would be the my value so what we are saying in my accumulator I'll take a second value and sorry no 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 no, no it's not a key or value again okay? key is never part of a calculations okay again as we have mentioned okay so here the pair first understand the data structure that would help us okay so let's say we have data structure like this oh sorry we missed this part that's the reason cs is my key and amit comma thousand is a tuple value cs is key rahul comma twelve so if this is a tuple true value that's the reason we are saying so what we are saying here dummy is the key okay uh, is the name uh, in the tuple and the 0 comma 0 is the second value so term is the first value and 0 comma 0 is the second value so we always need the initial value correct fold by key we do so here we are doing initial value should also be the same format as the this is the tuple as a value correct and this is the key so we here this is the key value part as the tuple so similarly initial value should also be tuple as we have done and but the tuple value should not impact the final result that's the requirement of the fold by function 
okay so if i would say if accumulator dot 2 is greater than element dot 2 so accumulator would be what containing this the same keys value here amit comma thousand and rahul comma 1200 will be selected here Right, so first it will take dummy 0, 0 and Amit, 1000. Okay, so this two tuple and will generate the final result based on this. It will say because the key still remain same CS yes, Amit, 1000 because second element here is 1000 here and 0, 0. So we say accumulator has a 0 value, 0 is greater than 1000. No, go to and result the element. Finally, so what it written the element uh, part? Okay, so this tuple would be is my element here, correct? Because this is the accumulator part and this is the element part. It says if accumulator value is greater than uh, element this value, then only result accumulator as element. So here it falls. That's the reason. Amit comma thousand would be written. So now the next value iteration would go. Amit comma one thousand become accumulator. Rahul comma 1200 become the element and when we apply this logic 1000 is greater than 1200 no so again we will return the element so from this result this accumulator Rahul comma 1200 will be final level. similarly another key is the ECE electronics is my key and I would again dummy as 0 comma 0 I accumulator and this is the element part we will compare it and if we will get this Rakesh comma 1000 here we compare Rakesh comma 1500 okay okay this is 1500 not uh, 1000 Rakesh comma 1500 and uh, uh, Aniket comma or 1200 so we will get Rakesh comma 1500 is an accumulator is an output because here now this value is greater than this value so that's the reason we get so my next department wise result is cs rahul has scored 1200 and in electrons department rakesh has scored 1500 so this with this double data set you work when using the fold by key so here three like two level one is a key and another is inside this tuple as we have done previously in the reduce by key function sorry so that is how the fold by key. So this is very similar functions to the reduce by key, but it requires the initial value. Okay. So that's all about this fold by key functions. And uh, thanks, thanks for watching. I hope you like this session. And this session is provided by HadoopExam.com. So we have training material here for the Spark certifications and the Spark training as well. Like uh, a Hadoop certification, Hadoop material. Cloud data certifications, we are keep updating Cassandra certification, data science certifications, the IWS certification, set certific. So we are keep adding the certification material. So our training are very focused with the certifications materials and you make you the expert as well. It's not necessarily you have to appear for the certification. You can even learn by this uh, just attending this uh, sessions because uh, this session will be taking as a, a we in our training we have real hands-on session actually. So you can do the on the virtual machine you be real hands-on with the trainer. Here we are showing you the concepts of each functions, but similarly you can do the hands-on with the real code which in our training. So thanks, thanks for watching. And if you're watching this session on YouTube, then don't forget to subscribe. So we, whenever we update this uh, new sessions, you'll get the updates. So thanks, thanks for watching and I hope you like the session.